Hey guys, welcome back to another Zero Linux video. Uh, it's been a while since I'm since I made a standalone video. Uh, excuse the gap. I do it. I do them when I can. I'm not relying on YouTube for monetary purposes. I'm just using this platform to get the message out to you guys whenever uh, it, it's needed. So uh, yeah. Uh, this in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the the, the GTK4 Libadwaita theming issue uh, that has uh, recently been brought to light thanks to uh, our resident GNOME user on the server, Neo29. Thank you. Merci bien. Merci bien pour tes indications, clarification. Sorry, uh, translated, roughly translated, that's, uh, that means uh, thank you very much for uh, bringing this to light. I, need, I will be showing you uh, everything. I'll be uh, tra as transparent as I can be, and I'll be uh, doing uh, this, showing you this on 0G, where Libid Vita is prominent. It also applies to KDE and XFCE. Wherever you are using uh, Libid Vita GTK4 slash GTK4 apps, you will need to do this yourselves post install manually. Unfortunately, uh, I, this cannot be directly done on the ISO ever. So uh, it won't be shipped out of the box with this fix. Let me just say that it's out of my hands. So if you care so much about consistency, because out of the box on Zero Linux, whatever edition you end up using, you will have an inconsistency where uh, Libadvita GTK4 apps will be using uh, Libadvita Dark by default. So they will be inconsistent with, let's say, if you are using KDE, will be inconsistent with Catpuccine, which we are using now on this re uh, release. And there will be, it will be inconsistent with, if you are on GNOME, which uses Libadvita Dark by default, uh, if you decide to use a, a different uh, GTK3, uh, a GTK4 theme, most of the apps will not be themed. And I will be demonstrating that in a sec. So unfortunately <laughs> it is what it is and i'm not saying that you cannot use themes uh, at all it's just that you have to you will have to go to the theme you're using's github follow their instructions because there will be instructions trust me without further ado let's do the okay this is uh, the desktop the zero g, uh, g desktop and I pulled up the uh, discussion we had on the issue tracker, on the Layen GTK issue tracker created by Vinci Lucci. If I butchered your name, please let me know in the comments below. But suffice it to say that any GTK, the uh, GTK theme you download from the AUR or any repository for, the, for that matter will not work for GTK4. And as explained by Vince, AUR packages run as root to install apps. AUR by extension, any uh, from any package manager or any repository, WhatsApp, whatever, what have you. Th the, all these run as root. It can only work with current user. There's a there's a dash L flag that has to be run before a theme can be applied to Libadvita GTK4 apps. And I will be showing you this now. I'm going to demonstrate to you that what happens when you install from a repo or AUR. I'm going to be demonstrating this with Lay and GTK, but it, it, it applies to all themes. Packages will never, ever, ever touch your home directory. With that being said, let me show you. So first, I'm going to install using my alias, of course. Instead of typing sudo pacman-s, you just type install layin dash gtk dash theme dash git i use the git version to, to get the latest commits hit enter type the password it's going to install the theme and its dependencies of course and then you go to tweaks you go to appearance you apply lay in dark and then lay in dark okay so it did apply you will see it's laying and to make sure that we kill nautilus we do p kill nautilus okay now nautilus has been killed completely from memory to make sure that it's theme you open it there you go it's still using libid white or dark why because the theme uh the theme package we just installed applied to the root not to the user's home directory 
you don't have dot themes here. It needs to be in dot theme. I'm gonna do it again, p kill Nautilus. And you will notice that tweaks got themed. It's using the layin theme. You go to weather, it's still using, it's a libidvita app. It's still using libidvita dark. You go to flat seal, libidvita dark. You go to settings, still libidvita dark. I can go on and on and on and on and on about this. I'm going to do, remove this package. Uh, I'm going to, oh, before removing the package, uh, it helps to switch back to a normal theme. Default, then you go back to dark. Then you remove, instead of install, you type remove. That is an alias for sudo pacman-rns. So you hit enter, enter, and now you go to the themes GitHub and you follow the instructions. Use that. This is this is for DNF and this is for Debian or whatever. So you copy this, paste it here. Oop. You need to be root. It helps to be root. Hit enter. Those are the dependencies. And then you git clone this. I'm gonna do it in my do documents folder. So Again, use my aliases to go to documents. You just type P-O-C-S, doc, enter. Now you're in documents. You do control shift V. All right. Now, CD into that directory. Tab to complete. Hit enter. And now you follow the instructions. You scroll down on the GitHub. And it tells you what, you, uh, what flags you want to, to install. But I'm going to simplify it. You just type or slash install, then dash L, very important, dash L for libadvita, as it says here, libadvita link install GTK4 themes to config for folder for all libadvita app and use the theme. It's explained on the GitHub. Then dash C for the color scheme. It has only light or dark. So for, uh, for our case, dark, I don't like the light. I don't like to be blinded by by the theme. Hit enter and then go to tweaks. Go to appearance. Do the same thing. Lay in dark. Lay in dark. Okay. Now everything is using lay in. Now when I click on files to launch Nautilus, you're going to see something different. There you go. It works. You open this, you open extensions, you open weather, you open settings. Everything is using Layin GTK. Superb, right? Again, this applies uh, for, uh, for all GTK themes from the AUR or any repository, whatever that repository might be. Most of the themes, I'm not saying all of them, but 90%, if not 99% of the GTK themes will not work on GTK4 Libadvita apps unless they are installed manually, following the instructions on the themes GitHub. There is a note, however, not every theme follows this uh, instruction scheme. Each theme will have their own instructions. Each developer has their own pref preferred language in writing the script, but they all have the same dash l flag the dash l is the most important flag you you will encounter for a while when it comes to gtk4 apps there you go i hate this limitation uh, with libadvita and gtk4 but we have to live with it if you want to customize uh, gnome visually using themes you have to follow the themes instructions on the github i'm just putting this out there this is an this is an awareness video making you aware of the current situation i'm not trying to uh tell you not to theme gnome or stay away from from themes on gnome i'm just giving you the solution to be able to use themes on gtk4 um with that being said I hope this video was uh, informational and helped you fix your uh, theming woes. Uh, let me know in the comments down below uh, if it helped or if it didn't or whatever. Uh, and uh, don't forget to hit the bell. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Leave me a super thanks if, when, if and when you can. Join the channel if and when you can. Show some love to Zero Linux the way I'm showing you guys some love whenever you ask for things. I'm doing this for free. 
So, and I have a goal, as you can see at the, uh, below this frame, uh, I need to reach 500 euros by the end of this month. It's, got, it's a monthly goal, recurring goal that uh, will always show. 500 euros a month. If you can help me reach that goal, that'll be great. If, if, you, if you don't want to contribute via YouTube, you can always head on to my Ko-Fi and uh, support me there and help me reach the 500 euro goal. With that being said, I'm going to say peace and long life to you all and enjoy and keep enjoy enjoying Zero Linux.